Hello, my name is Larry Lewis, President and Founder of Flying Blind LLC, and I would like to personally welcome you all to the first in a series of videos on Flying Blind's brand new YouTube channel. We've decided to launch this YouTube channel so that we can sort of branch out from just our traditional means of providing podcasts on adaptive technologies that Flying Blind endorses and represents, and sort of expand our market from just the visually impaired uh, user who might listen to podcasts to those who might visit YouTube and be able to watch videos and maybe have a little bit more of an effective technology demonstration. I'm very excited today to be focusing on some technology that I've been working with for about the past year and a half. About a year and a half ago, I began to partner up with a couple of companies, one of which, Aroga Technologies, which is based in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, and a longtime friend of mine who owns a company in Poland, Harpo, which develops and distributes products throughout Eastern Europe. Harpo has created a product called Braille Pen 12, and I'm sure that those of you who have been getting flying blind news and who have visited with me at conferences is very familiar with this technology. If you're not, Braille Pen 12 is the only Braille display that's currently under $1,000. It's a 12-cell input-output device with a joystick in the middle between dots 1 and 4 for those of you who read and write Braille. Braille Pen 12 is also the only Braille device right now that can easily fit in your pocket. So this is exciting portable technology because when it's bundled with products like the iPhone, products like the iPad, uh, it really transforms that touchscreen into a real productivity tool because we're using a lot of the note taker know-how that so many of us grew up with. In brief, Braille Pen 12 does work with a number of different types of devices. You can use Braille Pen 12 with a PC running the system access screen reader. You can also use it with a Macintosh using VoiceOver. You can also, for those of you who are mobile speak or talks users, you can use this device to access your mobile speak and talks phone. You may also use this device to access your Android phone using mobile accessibility. But today, we're going to focus very heavily on using this product with the iPad. Now, we had a podcast last year focusing on using Braille Pen with the iPad and the iPhone, and that was great and very excited to do that. But the reason why I wanted to focus on this today and revisit this issue is because the folks at Harpo and Aroga have just launched a new piece of firmware that actually allows us to have some internal memory built into this device. So without any further ado, we're going to get started with the demonstration. So let's get this started. And move this case out of the way. A lot of times I use Braille Pen outside of the case. Uh, if I'm in a situation where I'm standing or walking around, I might put Braille Pen around my neck. Probably can't see that too well, but it would hang down here. And we'll go old school Braille and Speak, where you have it around your neck and you're able to utilize the product. Before we get to what's new with this fantastic clipboard option, one thing that I would like to cover is many people ask me, how hard is it to set up Braille Pen? How hard is it to set up a wireless Braille device to work with any sort of Bluetooth type wireless technology? My answer quite simply is this, it's not hard at all. Uh, when you have the right kind of product, when you have the right type of Bluetooth stack in your product, you don't have to struggle like you do with many other products that are on the market today where they either don't work at all or you have issues pairing them, uh, you have to reset the products, you have to um, lose data in the process and all sorts of craziness. You shouldn't have to go through those sorts of hassles to simply access what everybody else is accessing out of the box. So before we get moving on with what's new, I want to very quickly show you how easy it is uh, to pair up this device. Now, what I've done is I've got my iPad. I'm going to be a little bit descriptive in case persons who are visually impaired are watching this video or listening to this video. I'm going to be a little bit more verbose and descriptive than I might normally be. What I have in front of me on the table is I have an iPad 3. I have a very clever speaker that I love, and I have nothing to do with uh, Amazon or anything like that. You can get this speaker on Amazon. It's called a Wowee speaker. It's only $50. I take it with me when I'm using my iPhone, my iPad. It's got really fantastic bass, listen to music, those sorts of things, and I don't want to use headphones and so forth. Works really well with your iPad or your iPhone or any portable device. I'm going to turn my Braille pen on by pressing space with K. We hear our three beeps, so we know our battery is full. We hear our little chirp that tells me that Braille Pen 12 is alive and well. So what I'm going to do is switch to my iPad, 
Multitasking gestures. Mute. Multitasking just use for thought bullets bullet swipe bullet swipe date and time keyboard internet accessibility. I'm gonna to go to accessibility and double tap. Settings vision heading voiceover on. I'm gonna to go button. to voiceover. Settings voiceover voiceover to select an option. I'm select. going to go to Scroll. Braille. Flip three and fingers. I'm actually going to forget a device that I have paired up voiceover, here, press, so we can start fresh. Speaking right, speaking right. Type and feedback. Use phone. Use pitch chip. Use compact for Braille. L12-00. Go here. Settings. Contracted. Eight dot status. Choose a prop selected. More info. L12-00. More info. L12-0. Setting. Forget this device. Button. Forget that Alert. device. Forget to pair with this device to use it. Okay. Button. Settings. Contracted braille. Eight dot stat choose a brick in progress. L12. In progress. I'm just going to forget a few different devices I have here. In progress. L12-00. Gonna get a tap progress, where I shouldn't have. L12. Okay. So anyway. In progress, choose a braille device. In progress, L12-00, A0, 96, 17. What I've done is I found my braille pin Not here. Cleared. I'm gonna double tap on this. L12-00, A0, 96, pin, secure. And I'm gonna enter my pin. Two, one. Hyphen. Two, one, three, two, three, five, four, done, delete, zero, done. Settings. And it's right. that easy. Paper. Button. Now all I've done is I have paired up my Braille pin by entering one, two, three, four, double tapping on each number because that's how I prefer to enter text. And then I tap on the done button and you heard Braille pin 12 beep. Now what I can do is uh, I can actually control this device without having to do all these crazy finger taps and so forth. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of this. Keyboard split. Go. Location services. On. Button. Back out Notifications. Here. And I'm going to go home. And what Messages. I've done is I've gone back here. So I've gone back to my home screen. So let's talk a little bit about what's new. You know from the podcast last year, if you listened to it, that I'm pretty much able to navigate all aspects of my iPad or my iOS device using Braille Pin 12 commands. I can do things like space H for home. I can use this little Calendar. joystick in the middle contacts. to get in and out of things. I can click on my contacts here by pressing my joystick contacts. in. All contacts. I can go to all contacts, contacts. move down here. search. Search field. If I want to search for a contact, I can click on this. Search field is editing. I can just type D I. Capital A heading. Capital A heading. Clear text. Search field is editing. D D. Search field. Clear text. Selected. And I have all sort of contacts here. James Bailey, Wolfgang Bob, Tamar, Stacy, John Bennett, Deb Rock, Beth Anthony R, Jeff Crit, Todd Nolan, Homepage, HTTP Work, Other, Home Notes. And so I can basically navigate through all those contacts just by typing in characters of letters. I have about 1,300 contacts here, so that's an essential task. So that's just a review of what we can do with Braille Pen. We can move by characters, words, headings, links on the internet, do all sorts of things like that. But let's talk a little bit about what's new. Harpo has released a clipboard feature for Braille Pen. Probably the biggest criticism of using iOS device by traditional note-taking type users is the instant on-off access that we do not have when we're using an iOS product with a Braille display. You pretty much have to boot up your iOS product, turn on your Braille display, they're connected. But to take a simple note or to do something like that can become a little problematic. So I want to show you a feature that we have called our clipboard feature. In order to activate our clipboard, I'm going to press this left panning button, this shift key, or dot seven, and dot three all together. Home, United States. And now what I have here is a blank braille display. I can write something very simple like don't, and I'm writing in uh, grade two braille. Let me just go back here. Actually, I need to do one other quick thing. Share contact button. Let me get back out of here. Actually, what I need to do contact. is something that I should have done before we started. Um, 
video. And so I'm just going to disconnect this for a second. It actually works out better for the video. I'm actually going to um, turn our clipboard on. Go back out of here. I'm going to just go into my firmware by basically hitting uh, space plus K, hitting your space and your uh, control key or your dot eight. And I'm actually going to move down using my joystick. This actually works out very well that I can show this. I'm moving down and it will say CBRD for clipboard run. And I'm gonna turn that from on to off by, or off to on by clicking my joystick. Moving down and clicking my joystick. That is uh, so that if I'm connected to voiceover, I can actually hop into my clipboard. So I went ahead and I've turned that off, okay? What I'm going to do now, since we're not connected to our iPad, is I'm going to pretend like I need to take a quick note. And what I'm going to do now is go into my clipboard and things should work a whole lot better. Again, I pressed my dot three, my dot seven, and my left panning key to get in there. And I'm going to write I am, and I check on my braille display, having a great time with my buddy Aaron. And I see that I need to actually make a space between buddy and Aaron. So I'm just hitting all three dots with my left panning key to move back so I can insert that buddy. Aaron cutting. Of course, I put cuting this video. Got it. So, what I have here is um, again, I have pretty much a note, just a little note. I'm having a great time cutting this video with, with Aaron. Uh, this is saved on my clipboard. I have up to 500 characters or the equivalent of about a half a page of Braille uh, that I can store this information, okay? So I'm going to exit my clipboard by going to my right and hitting dot six, my control key, and my right panning key. And this should take me out. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over and connect to my iPad. I'm just going to use my uh, triple action key. Voice over on. Messages. Let's go back down here. Go. Mail. Voice over off. It's back on. There we go. Voice over on. Messages.